Yo! Whoa, don't kill myself. I love that I can do that on these floors here. I can kind of just slide around. Um, hey, what's up, Duff here? How you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, I know I haven't put out a lot of videos lately, but uh, you know, life's busy. I am finally going to talk about uh, the EX30 wrap up, how the EX30 compares to wheels like the Sherman S, how the EX30 compares to the V13, which I got to test uh, a month or so ago. So let's um, let's talk about some things. Okay, so I've never, I've never really shot in this area of the house before, but hopefully it's okay. I got some LED lights here, I got some lighting there. So it's kind of a clean corner, so I thought it might be okay. So anyways, I was uh, loaned this wheel from eWheels, Jason and eWheels, thank you again. The EX30, and I have uh, had a, a good experience with it. I've taken it on a range test where I got uh, close to 70 miles estimated that I would have gotten 70 miles if I would have pushed it to the very end. Top speed, I got into the mid 40s. People obviously can go mid 50s in this if they uh, have a death wish. Um, I do not, so I, I pushed up to the mid 40s. I was right around the same top speed as I got on the V13. I took it into the swamp. It was uh, very, very uh, manageable in the swamp, more so than the V13. I just, it just felt more controllable because of, the, of its lower center of gravity. And of course, I took it to Marco Island and ran it up and down the, the, the hill gauntlet uh, 22 times and I think I raised the temperature of it 10 degrees that I get 10 degrees out of it didn't didn't work it very hard even though I was running it uh, for two and a half miles constantly up and down hills so it stays cool as well um, I have had a very positive experience with the wheel I think I think uh, visually it's, it's interesting looking has an aggressive look very similar to a lot of uh, Bagode wheels now you know the, you know the extreme uh, kind of looks like this a little bit not quite as big uh, but a lot of Bagode wheels have a very similar uh, visual nowadays. The EX30 has the enhanced uh, cage around the electronics. It's all metal now. It has a very, very robust system board with MOSFETs. You see, everyone's seen the test where like the, the guy was leaning up against a, a wall and basically just burning the thing out, just, just getting it to spin on a hard surface uh, continuously and it survived. Uh, pedals on the wheel have been comfortable. The, the uh, the screw-in, I think these are screw-in. Yeah, they look like screw-in spikes. Uh, although I know, I think that they have some uh, EX30s that have the, the molded spikes. These screw-in spikes have been uh, quite good for me, no problems whatsoever. Foot comfort, again, has been good on this wheel, uh, even during my 70 mile range test. The display, the display on the wheel is better than it used to be as well. It's uh, more visual, or more visual more visible, more visible uh, than some of the prior generation Bagode displays. Trolley handle works well. It, I would say that it works, uh, or it's, its location is probably better than a wheel like the Sherman S as far as maneuverability and, and being able to control the wheel. I like the center mounted uh, trolley handle more. You know, I haven't really had any glaring negatives to say about the EX30 tire the, the knobby tire that was provided with this wheel felt fine sounded aggressive i uh, had no complaints about the tire either and uh, everyone knows that this wheel has a you know incredible torque and top speed power so a lot of good things to say about the ex30 so but let's talk about this wheel compared to the other wheels i mentioned earlier and i need to sit down because i'm old and i can talk better when i'm sitting okay so for me for me, you know, like an average rider that, that doesn't have a, a extreme need for speed, likes range, occasionally will do longer rides, uh, but typically doing rides yeah, in the 10 to 20 mile range, I would say. Which wheel do I like the most between the Bigode EX30, the Sherman S and the V13? Now, when I did this uh, comparison with the V13 and the Sherman S, again, the V13 had a lot of positives, a lot of positives. Um, you know, the, the safety that's engineered into that wheel, it's the ability to cruise at a high speed because it's such a big wheel. You know, it's, it's a 22 inch wheel. Uh, these are 20 inch wheels, EX30 and the Sherman S. So it's not, it's not a one for one for comparison, but uh, money wise, you're in the same ballpark. So uh, I think they're, they are comparable. Um, for me, out of those three wheels, I still, for me, I prefer the Sherman S. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about the EX30, uh, the suspension. The suspension as well, when I first 
uh, pumped the, the, uh, the suspension up. I was a little low. I, I thought I was around 240, 250. Felt like it was bottoming out. I put about another 50 PSI into the, the air shock and uh, the suspension felt much better. Again, at the swamp, it did a good job of eating up the bumps. Uh, so the suspension is good. The suspension on the EX30, I still prefer the oil suspension, hydraulic suspension in the Sherman S. Uh, less must, less fuss. That being said, one of the drawbacks, again, if you're a person that is trying to tweak your wheel for maximum performance, uh, maximum uh, uh, shock performance even, the EX30 is gonna give you the ability to do that because you can switch out the shock, you can change the linkage. Uh, with the Sherman S, kind of what you see is what you get. You're not gonna, you're not, not gonna be tweaking those aspects of the Sherman S. For me, it doesn't matter. Uh, for other people, it might. So you have to keep that in mind when uh, you are making your decision. EX30 has a higher top end than the Sherman S. That being said, the Sherman S will go in the low 50s. Plenty fast enough for me. Uh, torque wise, the EX30 is gonna beat out the Sherman S, but not by a huge margin, but it is definitely a more powerful wheel. Fit and finish, fit and finish is always important to me because to me, it kind of talks about the quality of the wheel. Out of these three wheels, I would say the V13 has the best fit and finish and Motion always does a pretty incredible job with their engineering uh, in their wheels. The Sherman S, uh, I would say, is uh, second out of those three, and, and as normal, uh, the Bigode EX30, build quality-wise, is not gonna wow anybody compared to some of its competitors. But again, for some people, that doesn't matter. They just want a wheel that uh, goes fast, goes far. And the EX30 does that for sure. Uh, let's see, comparison-wise, again, uh, as far as the displays, I would say the display on the Sherman S and the EX30 uh, sure, uh, Sherman S, you can do more on, on the display panel. You can, you can control more settings than you can on the EX30. Uh, visibility wise, uh, I would say the Sherman S is slightly better. Uh, it's an LCD display instead of an LED display. Um, in some cases, that's a little reflective and you can't see it that well uh, when it's in sunlight. Uh, another thing uh, that might be a consideration for you is like if you're the type of person that likes to not only uh, mess with the shocks, if you like to change your tire a lot, uh, try, try different tire combinations. Changing the tire on an EX30 is gonna be significantly easier than on the Sherman S. That's, uh, if that's important to you, that might be something that you want to uh, keep in mind. Kickstands, I would say they're very similar as far as their performance, get the job done. Uh, lighting, I didn't really talk about the lighting on the EX30, I, I didn't, did I take it out at night? I think I did, yeah, I did take it out at night briefly. Uh, the light, this newer light that's on the EX30, it's good, it's good. Sherman S light, again, it's good, it's passable. It's not, it's not best in class. I would say probably the V13 is probably best in class when it comes to lighting. So now if, if I would factor in everything, my personal needs, um, the cost, the, qual the quality of the wheels, because um, the V13 is, I think they're still keeping it four grand, right? They never had that magical bump up to 4,600 because I think the sales were not uh, as, as as good as they hoped. So the V13 is not 4,600, but the uh, the Sherman S is, is right around the same price as the V13. At least it is currently. EX30, I have to, I'll post like what the current E-Wheels price is on it. I'm not quite sure what they're selling it for, but I think it's slightly less. I believe it is slightly less. So anyways, all those things considered, if you sat me in a room and you brought in these three wheels and you would say, okay, Duff, here you go. One of these three wheels you can have for free, but only one. And this is after me doing the testing that I've done. I still personally uh, would pick the Sherman S. All around the features, the visuals, the performance, uh, it fits my riding style the most. And if I, if I had a second choice, I probably would take the EX30 over the V13, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's easier to control. The V13 is a big beast. It is a beast, which helps it be a great open road cruiser. Um, but if, but um, those of you that saw the series on the V13, uh, it, it was just, I felt the weight. It wasn't, it wasn't the most nimble wheel for me, although I'm sure if you ride it more and more, it will get more so, but out of these three wheels, I like the, the way that the Sherman S and the EX30 feel uh, more than the V13. So yeah, if I went one, two, three, I would, I would say Sherman S, EX30, V13. That's, that's the order I put them in, uh, with none of those three being a bad choice. I would not be upset uh, being given any of those wheels for free. They all have their own um, strengths and, uh, and weaknesses, although there aren't a ton of them. 
You know, the, all three of these wheels are solid wheels. I, I don't think anyone would get one of them and say, oh, wow, I'm so disappointed. No, no, they're, they're all good wheels. And they are all good, as far as I can tell, from my testing. So there you go, guys. That is my thoughts on the EX30 Sherman S V13. Um, I will be uh, reaching out to Jason E Wheels to, I'm not sure where this is going next, uh, but it'll be going somewhere. And um, yeah, I apologize for not making a lot of videos lately. Just uh, life, you know, life, life has been uh, busy. Life has been challenging. My house is still not uh, back in order. Uh, you are right in front of my kitchen cabinets. I have my new kitchen cabinets installed. I have not had my countertops installed and that's been the case for three weeks, maybe going on a month. I don't know. It seems like forever. So it, it kind of is um, a little uh, difficult uh, logistically <laughs> to, uh, to uh, like, you know, food preparation, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of, it's kind of a challenge because I only have one active sink in the house and it is my guest room sink. So I'm doing dishes there. I'm brushing my teeth there. I'm doing everything there. So hopefully that changes soon. They're, they said that the counters are supposed to be in next week. So hopefully they are. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Um, if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. Uh, once again, a huge thanks to Jason at eWheels for allowing me to test this wheel, for including me in the test circuit. Always happy to do it. Always happy to give my opinion. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. If this is your first time visiting the channel, think about being a subscriber. And if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there. Let's see, I'm sitting down. Yeah, it will still be over there. The uh, notify bells over there will not notify you of live streams, uh, newly released videos. I also have channel membership on this channel um, right now. Last time I checked, I think I had 19 members. I don't know if I got to the magic 20 yet. I'll have to give it a check. But uh, last time I looked, these are my current members. Uh, very affordable, gives you a bunch of perks, including early access to most videos. Uh, this will be released to my members first. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, half a day, day later, it goes out to the general public. One of several perks for being a member. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Well, actually, the weekend's almost, well, it's not almost over. It's about noon on Sunday here in Southwest Florida. And um, I guess that's all I have for now. Till next time, Duff Man out. Which one for you? Which one? There's not a bad choice, honestly, between these two. This EX30 summary has been approved by Elsa. Right, baby? Do you approve? It looks like she does.